What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? I'm going to break it down just to tell a little story straight out the box from the gangsta category. If you know who wrote those lyrics, put it down in the comments below. Guys, we're going to talk about Luna Classic and what's going on. You've seen the market down just a little bit on the day, but Luna Classic up just a little bit. What's going on? Well, basically, the Asian markets were doing a little bit of buying overnight, and they're starting to accumulate <clears throat> in anticipation that in the next five days, we're going to get a, an incredible burn that's going to change the dynamic and the way Luna Classic is being perceived. Now, is that long-term? I don't think so. That's short-term. Uh, long-term will require a lot of retail coming back, and we really haven't seen retail aping back into crypto yet. So if you're wondering why your bag's not pumping, that's why. Because all of the people who originally pumped, all the people who originally did something with it, uh, that have been trading it all this time, they're still here. But the new investors or the returning investors who are looking for some sort of thing that would explode and, and go crazy, it's not tax time in the United States, so we haven't seen them yet. But the bull run is still here. We're in the early stages. We're still in accumulation. Bitcoin... Bitcoin is clearly in a bull run phase, but really when you break this down, this is the only crypto that's in the bull run phase. Now, what we're not we're not looking really for that bull run. We're looking for that banana zone when the there's a cascade of money uh, coming into all these different cryptos and stuff like that. I'm going to break down for you what my impression is on that. I'm going to remind you where I told you I think we're going to go in the top of this bull run so that you have an idea of what to expect. By the way, just because I say it doesn't mean it's true. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just guessing like anybody else. But follow me on this journey. Make sure that you know at least what somebody's opinion is. Uh, and if you value that opinion, then manage yourself accordingly. But remember, <clears throat> this is just my opinion. Without further ado, let's go, baby. So the Coin Republic has an article up, really is just clickbait, doesn't give you anything, doesn't tell you anything, just tells you that Terra Luna Classic eyes a breakout as 320 million tokens were burnt. Yesterday, there were up to 320 million burned over the last seven days. Now, the indication on this is that, you know, you would get the idea that that was a single burn and on accumulation of seven days, there's always 320 million burn over around seven days. Somewhere between 250 million and 350 million is always where we are. On really, really low volume periods, 180 to 300, uh, but 290 million right now because the burns did go down just a little bit from one day to the seventh day, if you will. So anyway, <clears throat> Terra Luna Classic, uh, Classic's price largely depends on the future of continued token burns in general and on market conditions more specifically. Uh, Court-ordered lunk burn as part of their $4.5 billion settlement with the SEC could also have a major effect on the stock price, and that's what matters right now. This burn is, if we go back and remember, on Lunk Dash, we're looking at this wallet right here, along with a few other smaller wallets, being burned over the next couple of days. Now, as far as USTC goes, two big wallets. There's the LFG wallet, which I'm now given to think is probably not in the circulating supply. I'm given to think that that might not be there. However, when I start to add all of this stuff up down here, this actually kind of resonates with what the, the active current supply is. So, I could be wrong about this. It could, it could, this could be a dramatic move. And also, this one right here, Terraform Labs, that wallet too. And there's some unknown wallets down this list over and over. Here's another one, 55, 58 million. So there's a lot of different wallets over here that have a lot of different uh, crypto in it. So USTC probably going to get a significant, and I mean significant, run uh, when these burns really get executed. If this is correct, okay. And by the way. Normally, I don't skip around to the price action this early, but let's do that right now because the one thing to remember is that I told you not that long ago that I think that we're coming back up here at about six cents to do a big test because, you know, 10 cents was the, the number. That was the high in this new paradigm. Now, if that is the case, then we've got one more test due over here to kind of finish off this... Um, you know, arc, if you will, before we get some sort of breakout. And at right around six cents, six and a half cents, that seems to be where that next impulse move is going. It's about a 3x from where we are at this moment. So there's a real possibility that we get that. And then once we get there, what happens if we get accepted into range? 
and continue a breakout, you could see an enormous sort of run. How high would it go? My estimation would probably be no higher than 15 cents, but guys, it's a 7X from where we are right now. And when you look at it from a market cap, market cap right now is 129 million. So, you know, this could really end up just going, by the way, it doesn't have to go 7X in market cap for it to go 7X in, in price. Just imagine, if you will, we reduce this supply right here by somewhere in the neighborhood of 2.3 billion circulating supply, then all you have to do is about a 4X to get a 7X return on your existing token. So there's a real narrative here that says that USTC could absolutely explode on this burns. So I think you owe it to yourself to have yourself a little bag of USTC just in case this thing gets crazy. By the way, I didn't do this before, but let me do it right now. I wanna show you the MACD. If you're looking at a MACD, indicator down here, um, it really kind of looks like, see how we seem to be accumulating, we seem to be moving upwards, we got an upward trend going on, and you see the MACD over here wants to flip over into the green, that usually means that there's price pump coming, and we see something like this over here, which is where we had this really big move previously. Well, it looks like this is what really wants to happen right about now. It looks like we're getting to that inflection point. We've got a pretty heated RSI around 52, 53. Uh, we're about to cross over. Uh, when you look at this, you can see just now on the daily, by the way, we just got a golden cross. Everything about this looks very, very bullish on USTC. That's what I want to say. So get yourself a bag of USTC just in case if you can afford it. If you can, if you can afford to do it uh, in the hopes that you're going to get a quick three or four or five X off of this. And listen, there is a possibility nothing happens. There's a possibility that when you look at these burns, it's a little bit underwhelming and you don't see the burns that you think. Like that LFG wallet of 1.8 billion, I think it's included in the bankruptcy, but I don't know for sure. It should be, but you know, I, these things are weird. So, but let's talk about Luna Classic. Luna Classic is about to have a golden uh, cross. Okay, we're getting really close to that. Look at that right there. You can see that zooming in. You can see that we're about to have that little crossover. Uh, also, the MACD, you can look at that and you can see uh, we were a little cooked for a while. Uh, then it came back over and it's not really dumping, right? We're still just kind of consolidating. The MACD is getting weaker while we consolidate within range. As you can see here, there's two red little lines down here at the bottom indicating that we've had outflows, but it hasn't led to price depreciation. That's what you should be looking at. And that's a very bullish indicator because that means that when the pump happens, this pump right here, when it happens, it's going to come from and it'll go up to a higher high. We'll, we'll get another big move. And by the way, it should be noted, we're still in this range right here. So three zeros 12 looks to be like the next trajectory over the next you know little while. And that is about a 33, 34% increase. Guys, we're looking for much bigger increases in this. So ultimately, this is just a good start, but it's a start, it's only a start. This is not you know what's getting ready to happen largely in this ecosystem. So um, the volume, uh, 18 million, nothing to write home about. None of this is, you know, none of this is super exciting by the way. But uh, circulating supply, 5.7 trillion right now. How do we get that down? How do we burn a, a significant amount of the supply? Binance has got the big amount with 2.3 trillion. There a year ago, the valuation of Cryptonomy.Finance was $3.7 billion according to the British government. Today, that value, $6.1 billion. This company has managed to raise $2.4 billion in capital over the last 365 days. If you're looking for a place to get information about investment opportunities, then cryptonomy telegrams are the place over here. This is the quarter, uh, this is the quarter, third quarter uh, marketing overview. This is Ben Armstrong has predicted uh, XRP past ETH in market capitalization. These are news articles that are constantly giving you the information that you need. Additionally, there's an update channel and it's giving you market structure playouts. It's giving you market updates on each major country and indices that there are out there right now to give you an idea of what is going on in the market so that you can get an idea of what it looks like broadly and how these governments are working. Big news articles, whatever you need, Cryptonomy has it for you. Not only does Cryptonomy have it, but myself, Dean DCA, Crypto, Lyft Capital, Jake Gordon, we're all writing articles for Cryptonomy. You can come check 
I did one on Immutable Quarter 2 of 2024. Uh, we've also got Thorchain, State of NYM, and we got Ronin's Web3 Gaming Empire. Guys, if you need information about this crazy crypto market, then by all means, you need to go to economy.finance slash research. But none of that matters unless you are using cryptonomy.finance the way that it's meant to be used by setting up fixed staking so that you can earn some significant yields. Let's set up a deposit today. Today we're dropping three ETH into a nine month contract. All right, we've created that. But the biggest move into all of it is the launch pool. Guys, I cannot stress enough. They've had 57x average return so far in their investments. If you just create a deposit, I've got a potential for up to 5x with a 50-50 profit sharing from the launch pool. We're going to create this contract now for $20,000. And there we have it. The anticipated profit between 1 and 5x when this thing is completed. And it will complete in October of 2025, just in time to cash out for the bull market. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for Protonomy.finance today. Looking for ways to reduce it, by the way. It should be noted. They're looking for ways to reduce that. And then there's $1 trillion over here in the staked coins pool, because uh, we got over a trillion staked. Uh, then you have the OKX KuCoin crypto. We have the big wallets, the hot wallets right here. So it should be noted right there that, you know, this is, um, I think we're pretty sure that at this point that this is the TFL wallet, but uh, we don't know what this one is. What if it's a T, well, uh, an LFG wallet? What if we're talking about 500 billion getting burned at one moment, uh, or 600 billion, or 700 billion? And what if we're talking about upwards of a trillion? Because there's still kind of a trillion out there that might be, you know, we might be able to make an argument that, that you know, some of these wallets here that we don't know about, that we don't have verification on, might just be exactly what we hope they are. Um, <clears throat> but as you go down here, there are some significantly large wallets that are holding on to this. So, you know, there's there's a possibility that we get just one of those crazy moments where we see so much burn happening at one point that we're talking about, you know, we'll go from $135 billion to a trillion burn. Now, what happens when that goes on? When you start to do the math on it and you start to look at it and say, well, it's been two years, but now we have a trillion burned in another two years. We'll have another trillion burn. In another two years, we'll have another trillion burn. Hey, guess what? Now we've reduced the supply by 50% over the course of you know six years with only with two of them already out of the way. Does that seem um, quick enough for you? Probably not. You're probably looking for it to go a little bit quicker. Well, November 6th, we've got the repeg happening as well. So let's go back to where do I think Luna Classic goes when we get into the bull run? And look, I, I'm telling you right now that I think that we've got an aggressive sort of outcome happening. I'm going to zoom out here because I want to give you guys an idea of where I think it's going to go. Uh, not here, by the way. Like we could have an impulse move right now to three zeros, 58, 241. We could have that at any time. Okay. My prediction for this bull run is very, very simple. I think that Luna Classic, right about there, that's 2.8 cents. And I think that this kind of move right here is getting ready to happen. We're talking about 100x. We're talking about a reduction in the supply of tokens. And then we're talking about increase in the value of the remaining tokens. So, you know, if you just on this journey consider here, if we were to uh, pop up, you know, if, if we were to go up in this level, that would be in my estimation here, about 300x, let's say. If we were to go 300x, how do we get there? What does it look like? Market cap, 500 million. Uh, 300x would mean 1.5 trillion. Uh, I don't think there's the chance in the world for that to happen. But if we reduce the supply and cut the supply in half, then we reduce the need for that down to about 150x, mathematically speaking. We'll still go 300x, but the multiplier on the market cap suddenly becomes a lot more beneficial to us. And look, 50 billion market cap comes into play. Can we get to a 50 billion market cap? 50 billion market cap is 100x from where we are. So then really what it comes down to is the reduction in supply. So if we quote unquote vibe, if you will, with a lot of burns, and then we get the reduction in the supply that we're looking for, then guess what? Now you got 2.7 cents, 2.8 cents. Now you're looking at you're over a penny on Luna Classic. And that just starts a, a big sort of revival. And then by that point, we've got a repeg implemented. We've got a burn protocol implemented that's quickly and rapidly reducing the supply. 
And then we have to contend with one outlier, and that outlier would be Binance. Now look, Binance is the good guys, right? We think they're the good guys. We have no reason to think that they're bad, by the way, but you know, we consider them to be the good guys. But they're holding on to 2.3 trillion tokens right now, so how do we get 2.3 trillion tokens burned down? That's going to become the question. That's going to be one of the most prohibitive sort of moves that there will be. And one of the important pieces here is I think that if we were to get a pump like this, then we would start to see Binance dump some tokens onto uh, the open market. I think that they would reduce their supply in a substantial way. And by the way, I think that Binance would also kind of get behind us when it comes down to that, you know, let's we do 100x for them from where their current value is, then I think that they will, you know, they will do something big for us. So that's a guess. That's a guess. I don't have any data to back that up, but let's keep moving on. Teradot Money still hasn't made any comments since September 25th, so we're going to keep tracking that every single day from now on. Uh, for Lunk Dash, we've already gone over that. For your burns, you've already gone over that. For the amount of burns, we've already gone over that. For Galaxy Station, the proposal to remove the fork modules has passed by a landslide, so we're going to see fork modules being removed from Terra Classic, streamline the process. And again, what this does is it simplifies that when the Cosmos SDK comes out, we can just implement it right away and we don't have to make any adjustments and we don't have to pay people in order to have them uh, make, make adjustments to it to handle each one of the fork modules. And just natively, Cosmos SDK is going to work out of the box and that will make programming a lot easier, a lot simpler, a lot more streamlined. Speaking of streamlined, stream your line over to Terra Casino and check them out right now. Uh, Pirates of the Prairie is available to play right now. $5,000 uh, mega free roll on October 26th. That's tomorrow, so get involved. $11,000 in cash daily drops from uh, Pragmatic Play and Terra Casino. World Poker League giving away 2 million euros. Why are you not connected to this place? Why are you not doing something with it? Like, guys, are you spacing? Just and then, of course, you know what cryptos you can do with that. Also, if you're trading meme coins, Terraport is your place to go. Now, we're going to talk about Terraport in just one moment here because I want to clarify a few things. Uh, but remember, we've got a stake it's going to be done in a couple of days. And then we'll uh, uh, I'm going to start doing the launch pad over here. We're going to add to 10,000 Terra. And then we're just going to start farming this every single day to make sure that we're getting as many tokens for Selenium as we possibly can in anticipation that, you know, maybe we'll have uh, some kind of big run. Uh, actually, you know what? I've never paid attention to this because I'm an idiot. Uh, your wallet holds a daily average of 55.27. Uh, what I need to do now at this point is just go ahead and buy 5,000 more so that I have it in my wallet and then I can qualify. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, Problem solved. I didn't even read that this entire time. Anyway, you have 53 days left, so I would suggest you do the same thing. Also, when you're looking at that, looking at Coin Hall over here, uh, let me just shout out right now, Terra continues to soar. It's up to 1.4 cents in this pairing right now, uh, which means that it's doing pretty well. So remember, we bought $50 worth, which was 5,000 Terra. And I have an extra 500, by the way, um, that I bought um, for, uh, I think it was also around five bucks as well. So what we have right now is I have 5,500, uh, but it was at $50 and now it's at $7. So that means that it's worth about 77. So I paid 55 for 77. That's a profit. That means that I did good. You know what I mean? Uh, cat with hat. Remember we got 50, uh, we got 60 on this one. I I'm sorry. Uh, and it's now worth 137. Juris was worth 50. It's now worth 109. Boys was worth uh, 50. It's now worth 105. Food was worth 50. It's now worth 92, 94. Now Garuda X, still going to need a little pump on that one. Big Bang X, um, that platform, uh, you know, we'll need some exposure there, but all of that exposure is coming very, very soon. So um, if you're looking for these meme coins, terraport.finance, that's where you're going to go in order to do the trading. Now, if you don't want to do trading, you just want to do yield farming or liquid staking, that's available to you too. So what are you waiting for? Go sign up today. Now, finally, the protocol of the day is Cat with Hat because we got to talk about it one more time. Uh, Juris Protocol over here talking about Cat with Hat had a, a love pullback. I don't know what that means, but it had a little bit of a pullback uh, over the last couple of days. Back down, dropped that, added that zero back on before dropping it one more time and now surging on up. And guess what? Look at Cat with Hat burn tracker. 22.5 billion have now been burned, which means that 22.52% uh, of the initial supply have now been burned. So as this continues to burn, as Terra Casino continues to burn Cat with Hat, 
what do you think happens to this from a price standpoint? It's going to be price appreciation. There's a lot going on out here. So if you don't, you should have a little bit of cat with hat because there's going to be a moment here where this thing, I think, has kind of an explosive sort of move. Remember, right now, about 12000 in uh, about a hundred thousand market cap. What happens when it goes to a million? That's 10 X from where it is right now. Uh, and then what happens if it goes to 10 million? People are going to find this ecosystem. They're going to find this ecosystem. And when they do, this thing is going to explode. And that's just the first of many meme coins that Terra Casino is going to be working on. But it takes your support. So if you haven't already, sign up for Terra Casino, link in the description down below. Sign up for terraport.finance, link in the description down below. And let's get trading in in the classic communities and let's make something happen here and let's not wait for somebody else to do it because that's not how it works all right guys that's my time thank you so much for tuning in remember it's not financial advice but i'm always right